Hi guys, I've been asked if I can show you how to do marbling with Future Nails Dip Powder. Right, what we will need in the beginning, I'm going to do it on a swatch, but obviously you'll be doing this on your hand. So this, this is my hands. So what we do, we take a file, we buff the shine off of our natural nail. Just make sure there's all the preps done properly for you. Make sure there's no dust dust any excess so you're just with a scratchy surface on your nail and then what we do we decide what base color we want so i'm going to use white but you can use whatever color you like so i'm going to use snow white by future nails and we'll put that in there and then because we're going to be marbling with white as well whatever color you want your base to be is what you need in there so we do two layers of white. And just do this as you normally would any base color, two layers. Give it a good tap, tap off the excess. Let that dry for a second. That's just one layer and then we brush off ready for this we do one more layer you can do as many layers as you like i'm just going to do two just just to show you all right the marbling always looks really nice with a white base So we still have the white in there. Tap that off. I may actually do one more coat. Yeah, let's go in with one more layer of white. I'm just going to leave that there to dry a minute and then what we do with our base coat whatever color base you're having you've still got in there and then you take whatever color you want to marble with i'm going to use dynamic which is black and also i'm going to add a little bit of shimmer using generous so you take this you don't need actually that much so i'm going to tip a bit out so I don't waste it. So you just got a tiny bit in the bottom there, look. Just enough to dip. Otherwise you will waste quite a lot. And open the cupcake liner as much as you can. And then you take this scoopy thing. <laughs> and you just get the tiniest bit. Tiny, tiny amount. And just place that on the top of where you want it to be just there look don't mix it and then you take a bit of your sparkle your silver and you just dump that anywhere in there as well and then you take this end and just give it a swirl around Don't mix it, just swirl it so the, the colour is sitting on the top. And then once you've got, you can buff this now so it's nice and smooth, ready for your marble layer. Because you don't really want to be buffing after this next step. Because you may take off some of your marble. So any buffing, do now before you do your marble stage. You dust off any excess and you take your step one liquid give it a nice good generous coating wipe your brush before placing it back in the bottle 
and then you take your nail and you lay it onto your pattern or roll the nail I will put a picture of the finished swatch into comments on the Future Nails Get Powder Group Club and then you'll have a look but already it's got the marble and if you're careful enough without mixing this you can use this again for other fingers you don't have to make a new mix because this now will go into my pot of mix up colours and eventually I'll come up with a colour of my very own. Right so we can dust off this now. You could coat it in clear. Actually, I'm going to do that. Bear with me. I'm just going to grab my clear. So we will now coat this in clear. And then once that's dry, we can give it a bath, but can you see? It's already got the marble. So while that's drying, I'm going to put my lids on. Don't want any accidents. Which wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> but yeah, this mixture here now can go into a pot which I do if I have any wastage, I always tip it into another pot, never throw anything away, and eventually you'll have a very own colour that you can use yourself. Right, let's just stitch this off. Get a buff. Remember when you dust the excess, be really vigorous with it so you're not leaving any dust behind that can contaminate your activate liquid. We've had a few members have had little white dusty bits in their activate and once it's in there, you can't get it out. So, right, so we activate this now. Get a nice good coat in. And we let that dry. Make sure our bottles are done up. I am sorry it's taken so long for me to be doing this video as well. Lynn, in particular, I am sorry. <laughs> we got there in the end. So there, now that's nice and dry. We take our top coat. Give it a quick layer, let that dry, so you can place your nail in on whatever angle you like, I mean this has kind of gone straight across, but you can do it whatever angle you like so you can actually get a full on proper marble experience. Now one final top coat. We are marble. Just wipe the brush. Let me just give this a couple of minutes to fully dry and then I'll take a photograph and I will put it in comments for you to see. I reckon that's a bit marbled. <laughs> There we go. All right.
thank you for putting up with me <laughs> and i will post this in comments bye